Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Adisha and this is Learn with Adisha. Nouns part two. Now that last video for nouns was part one, but this one is part two. We still haven't covered all of the topics for nouns. There are still plural nouns to be covered, but I'll do that in a separate video since that topic is an umbrella of its own. Let's get on to the first topic, countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns can be, well, counted. For example, a bowl, one bowl, two bowls, three bowls, and anything that you think about. Look around you. Can you see a stapler, a pen, a pencil, toys, a laptop? any devices even the word device in itself is a countable noun because you can pair those words up with one two three etc now just remember this simple rule to identify countable nouns if you can pair the noun up with a word like one two or three then you can consider that as a countable noun because you can count it. Uncountable nouns are the exact opposite of countable nouns. You can't count them. Say, for example, rice. One rice. You can't say one rice. Of course not. That would make no grammatical sense. Now, some things are countable while others are uncountable. Now, there's a question up ahead. And I want you to identify the countable and uncountable nouns from it. In five, four, three, two, one. Start. Did you answer that question? Well, good job if you did. Now, let's get on to the next topic. The next topic is common and proper nouns. Common nouns are things that are very vague in general. Say, for example, pencil or country or continent or person, glasses, t-shirt. Those are all common nouns. You don't usually need to capitalize the the first letter of these nouns when using them in a sentence. Proper nouns are things that are not vague. For example, snakes and ladders, Germany, Big Ben, Adisha, even your name, yes, your name, any name is counted as a proper noun. These nouns have to be capitalized except for the seasons those are those are the only exceptions to this rule now next question i want you to identify the common and proper nouns from these from this set of words in five four three two one go If you've answered that question as well, amazing! I'm proud of you! I just want to say to you again, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with everybody you know. I'm Adisha, this is Learn with Adisha, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!